Good to go. Good morning. I'd like to call the meeting in order of the Kingsford Downtown Business Improvement District Advisory Board, Wednesday, January 5th at 8.02. Um, number two on the agenda is public comment. Um, is there any public comment from anybody in the audience? And are we accepting public comment on Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, hearing none from anybody in the audience, I uh, will go to the phones. Nope. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> item number three, approval of the minutes of our January 1st meeting. Um, those minutes were emailed to all members and are also available on the back of your agenda. I make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. You have to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Yes. And then it's approved. Uh, reports from board members. Any reports from board members? I'm not a board member, but I have a report about the trolley for Santa Lucia. Yeah, I got your email, but I was out of town. At, um, there was a miscommunication with the trolley driver. We went back and forth about like what time to get here, but then also what time to line up for the parade. So at the end, he thought he was doing the parade and then doing routes afterwards. So that's why he wasn't there earlier. It was I wasn't clear in um, the itinerary. So I'll make sure next time that if there's parades or something else going on that it's spelled out clearly. Are we still having trouble getting drivers, or is that? But we have one gentleman that I haven't had a, you know, he's been able to do it so far. Okay. Um, we're we're working on. We had two volunteers that passed the um, oh the DMV's physical, but that was right before COVID hit. So I don't know how long. We just have to research. We might just have to start over again. Um, in on this too. So, um, FCRTA uh, Moses, who is the director, said that he's willing to train any drivers for free. We'll do a class um, like on a Saturday if we have any volunteers who would like to do so. And he'll get, I know there's been some people in town that said they've been, that they're willing to step up to be drivers. And so he'd be willing to pay for the training for that. And so now that we're on the kind of the other side here, he said he's willing to set that up anytime we have the drivers we're working That's to good because we kind of had a problem setting it up also. Yeah. So if I have any issues, I'll contact you with it. Or, or you can contact me and I can contact mm -hmm. Moses. So. Um, and my other question, since we're on trolleys, um, how far in advance um, do we need to set up that uh, in order to get the drivers? I mean, is a month ahead? Yeah, preferred. Okay. Preferred a month. Okay. No shorter than two weeks. Okay. I just didn't even know if we needed to start thinking about um, car show, if we want one at car shows. Uh, I'm sure the Swedish, sooner the better. Swedish days, uh, those type of events, you yeah. know, that we already have on the calendar. We know the days. Mm -hmm. This group needs to decide, I guess, if we want the trolley or, you know, uh, to run downtown. Um, I don't know if that's a this group or a chamber or just a request of, of, of either group type of thing. Yeah, the, the, probably the farther ahead, the better, um, but at least I 30 days. I, I'm, I'm kind of up in the air on, on car show because it seems like a lot of our streets are blocked due to the car show, and I don't know that the trolley will provide that much unless we know the historical park's going to be open. Can they get to the depot during the car show? They, the trolley wouldn't be able to because there's cars parked all over there. Yeah. Um, I think car show, there's not as much of a need for okay. sure because there's not a lot of moving around with people. A lot of them just sit where their cars are for the most part. 
uh, other than the people coming to watch, obviously. But for a Swedish festival, I mean, definitely if we can get it during that time, because there's stuff everywhere between the historical park and train depot and the other parks and everything, I think it'd be beneficial for Swedish festival for sure. For Saturday? Um, maybe even Friday night. Saturday. 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 Yeah. Okay. And for the Santa Lucia, um, I didn't charge the bid for the trolley driver. I did it to our city account since it was for our council members going down the parade. So. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what the ridership was? We don't keep track of that. None. <laughs> None, because he just came for the parade, right? Yeah, I don't know. He might have done the track afterward, but... How about for the Thursday so. nights? Um, I could see if... I, but the feedback that I get from our trolley driver is that everyone's really nice and he enjoys doing it. I don't... I've never requested, like, a head count, so... Was it Sid? Was it Sid? Yes, yeah. He's been doing some private ones, too, and he's always... Um, we always have positive feedback about okay. the community that rents it, but not not headcount. We can ask him to keep track, though. Yeah. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I, mean, I, think so too. I mean, if we're only getting two people ride it, I mean, is it worth doing? Yeah. But, yeah. Well, along with that, is it worth doing if only two people are riding, but also? Will it catch on? Yes. Uh, and it's the exposure that Kingsburg has this trolley, and that it's you know it's decorated. Uh, is that the right word to our theme mm -hmm. and all that? And it shows the the, the the downtown is doing more than just being downtown. It's you know it's a, it's a yeah. It's it's too bad there aren't a lot of people on it and creating a photo loss too. Uh, but um, I, I think you need we need to be consistent with doing it. That's one of the other things, you know, being consistent. Okay. Any other reports from board members? I know we talked last month about the Christmas trees. Are we going to report on it? Yeah. Okay. Let's. You want to talk? Go ahead. Um, Leslie and I are um, going to a vendor in Vegas at the end of this month. I'm uh, seeing you get about getting additional Christmas trees for the corners on um, wholesale um, and to get a price on, on those and, and get those trees so that we can possibly do the four corners down um, by the Covenant Church, Suncrest, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then we're going to, to look at doing something on, on these corners um, here. If we can get some electricity to that, even if we have to go overhead, um, for example, off the fitness, you know, the top of the building, and so it doesn't obstruct anything and come down type of thing. I don't know yet, but look at something uh, of that sort. Um, There's street lights there. We should be able to pull power down from those. <coughs> Yeah, I think there is pretty close to each corner there. The other thing is uh, the uh, we think less than I think trees that are the existing trees on the corner we can probably probably get another year or two out of them. Um, somebody needs to take some time once they're put up and actually um, fluff them. You know, just like when you take your artificial tree out of the box at home, you need to do that, and you know. I do it when I put that netting on as much as I can, but you know, time restraint doesn't allow me to. 24 trees is a lot of fluffing of those trees to do type of thing. So we think we can get another couple years out of those uh, type of thing. Um, there's supposedly some new trees out that actually have different the different lights that actually plug in differently. And so then we're going to look at those and the cost of those too. That would be a deal. You know, yeah. See what those are. So hopefully by the next meeting, our next meeting, we can report on additional trees and all that. I was going to ask you, can we look into what what the cost of putting in the electrical boxes down on the at least those four corners um, to to see what we can do? Yeah, I, I can look into that and have a report next month too with that. Exactly what it'd be. 
Okay, so Christmas trees, trolley, um, any other reports from other board members? Okay, item number five, other business. Uh, we do have some guests in the audience. Uh, they uh, are, I didn't know if um, Michelle had a report to give. I do. I'm going to come up or? You're, uh, you're, uh, you can sit right there as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had an idea that started before COVID hit, and I was working with um, Abigail on it. Um, so the idea is to put around town some mini murals, and I, I use the word mural loosely, so some mini pictures around town that could be used um, for social media purposes, because people love to go around to other towns and take photos next to it because it's tough to pose next to our large murals. So imagine smaller type pictures to put around town that are that are based on Kingsburg. So it would be tagged with Kingsburg. So when people do post them on their social media, they know exactly where they were at. Um, so I went around with Abby and we talked to some of the local business owners of the buildings and they were really excited about it. Um, the city council passed an ordinance way back when um, about the murals and how they needed to be on special plates like the one next to Los Pepes. But those are for the larger murals, so we're talking more of the smaller ones. And so the reason why I'm coming here is um, I talked to an economic development committee about it to run it by them to see what they thought, and they thought this was a good idea as well. They brought it up to city council. So I'm coming here to the bid because I want to know, as far as business owners, how you guys feel about putting up these small murals throughout the downtown area, if this would be something that the businesses would support um, before I go out there and start talking to people again to see if you know, this is something that you think that would be a good idea. Um, as far as funding for it, um, I have reached out to the Fresno County um, Art Council. We did get some money for the large mural on Steve's building and received some money from them during COVID. And I reached back out to them about this idea and they said they would definitely support it. <laughs> um, you may have seen things like, you know, the big wings um, that people have done. Instead of doing that, maybe it'd be fun to do something with agriculture and make it really colorful. I just, I, the idea that I think would be nice is to look locally for local artists. Um, I know we've got an amazing artists here in town, even some of the high school kids, and then have them present to us their ideas, and then from there see what buildings it would fit with each of those different pictures. And then ultimately, you know, we'd, we'd have that decision because we don't want something just slapped up on a wall that doesn't fit with our theme of Kingsburg, and um, we want to make sure that, you know, we have that final control of it. Um, I think the other thing is um, with the youth council, we had talked about doing ones um, even like on a board that have the um, the rollers so they could be changed up and brought out for a Swedish festival, for car show, so it would have like a car show theme, a Swedish festival theme that'd be changed up each year that would have the year on it. Um, that would be something that would be a lot of fun as well. Um, but these are something that need to be freshened and changed. So, you know, this isn't a permanent thing. Um, but I just love this idea that because, you know, especially younger people and then there are people that travel to cities specifically to look for these type of small, I don't want to use the word murals. Is there a word mm -hmm. mural? Yeah. Other murals? Okay. Yeah. I, when I think of the word mural, I just think of right, large. Large, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Louis Obispo has just started talking about with the rolling mural, basically, mm -hmm. where they're small, step and repeat kind of size, where you step in front of it, yep. and um, they change them out. They change and them out. Like you said, they on the bottom, it has like Here. basically a call to action to yep. tag and post. And mm -hmm. There's so one every in San time Diego. I see it, I take one with my daughter because yep. it's fun. <laughs> There's one in San Diego I go to every year. It changes up every year. And um, I love seeing what they're going to do this year, and it's a lot of fun. And I look forward because I have a conference I go to in San Diego every year, and every year I go and find it and yeah. see it and take a picture with it. So I think it'd be fun if people are driving on the 99, they're going to want to stop in Kingsburg to see the different murals, what we're doing. <coughs> and, um, I think it'd be a lot of fun, something new for Kingsburg because we are known for our murals. 
for our larger murals, and maybe now we can know for some of our smaller ones. But again, I want them to be, you know, based on Kingsburg. We're not looking to do something way outside the box. I mean, they definitely want the Kingsburg things and everything like that. Possible, small. Yeah. At the Swedish Festival, we have this big board with live beans painted on both sides mm -hmm. and cut out where people put it. They're in adorable. Their Unbelievable the number of people that come to <laughs> yes. We could have a couple of those around town mm -hmm. too, so they could just stick their face in. Yeah. Or do a maple and have it, it's a maple, right? And then have it be like at the pumpkin patches where you have um, how many feet. Mm -hmm. And then you put your kid in front of it every year at the Swedish Festival and see how much taller they've grown every oh, year. Be cute. But instead like of it being a yardstick, make it like a maple or that's something. Really that'd be cute. 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 That'd yeah, a maple. That. That's so cute. Yeah. I think um, I'm, I'm hearing no objection from this group type of thing. Um, so, you know, I, I would say that we're, we're in favor of it. I think we need to be pretty specific of. The more permanent ones downtown on Walden definitely need to be Kingsburg based. Mm -hmm. Kingsburg, Kingsburg based, Swedish based, agriculture based, you know, and all that within that umbrella type of thing so that, you okay. know, we stay within that. Um, the portable ones, you know, can be more, you know, patriotic uh, around Flag Day through the 4th of July type of thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a Christmas theme or, you know, whatever, you know, those type of things, uh, uh, you know, so it, it, it can be more hopefully getting people back because they know we're going to change, you know, change themes and, and that kind of stuff, you know, uh, a repeat type thing. And that's something we can market also. Oh, Kingdom, we've got their sweet, their spring uh, car, sh car show, uh, Swedish Festival portable murals out, you know, come downtown and see, you know, and those type of things. But I think we need to tell these artists, especially if you're dealing with, you know, some high school kids and all that, you know, hey, these are your parameters of work for them. Exactly. Have you picked out um, the locations of these small murals? I have. I, I went around town and kind of, oh, wait, now I'm saying the word like I tagged, <laughs> but I, I looked at areas through the downtown area that would be um, perfect for them. Um, like I said, I've talked to many of the owners of the buildings, but there's some I have not spoke to yet because um, some maybe don't live in town or just haven't been able to reach out to them. Um, so I do have that, but I definitely want to talk to people, especially this group, to see where you think would be a good idea for them as well. They're probably the same areas that I've looked at as well. Um, so. I think it is. I think it's a great idea. Uh, we already have the doll of horses, though, which I feel like are main photo spots. Like every kid, every adult, you know, wants to go to the pink doll of horse or any of those and get on them and take photos. So I think it's a good idea. I don't know if it will take off the the wing photo, like you mentioned. Uh, basically took off because an influencer went there and took a photo in yeah. front of it and then now every person wants to copy that influencer uh, to take a photo in front of it that's why i think that caught on like that but um i mean i'm not in, against it just those are my thoughts i just want ours to be unique so say i don't want it the wings have been done so i want to yeah. do something that makes us unique that's unique to kingsburg mm -hmm. definitely we had our ideas, although <laughs> we can't paint it, but, you know, like different fruit tree blossoms at different colors and stages, like making Make like a whatever rainbow design, a rainbow, or, or yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of colorful agriculture in this area that can make it Kingsburg. Okay. And I think you can't have too many photo ops. Um, <laughs> Sure, we get a lot of tourists that one. Almost every day during the Christmas season, I would hear somebody say, this is like coming to a Hallmark movie. And now, with all the all the stuff that Steve has done and other people in town, that I just give Steve a lot of credit for what he did. Um, now, when you look out there, the trees are bare. It's kind of bleak looking. And do you know that in one month, First Friday in February is a kickoff for the Blossom Trail. 
and our, traditionally, our city has not put up the banners. They take these banners, the banners down, and then it's blank until car show. Well, I really think we need to have more color in our downtown for blocking trails. And I know that the banners are still up. I think it's easier to swap them out when they're taking them down than to have a, another. I think our new ones are finally done. So we'll have new banners that were up for a couple months and they weren't yeah, made correctly. So yeah. we had to take them down. We had to get our money back. It was a big, long process. And I think that the new set of new banners should be ready. So I saw them taking down the holiday ones this morning. Mm -hmm. We're working on them. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think when our turn is to post the kickoff too again for mm -hmm. the Blossom Trail because you don't know, rotate to all the cities. And we're the beginning of the Blossom Trail as yeah. well. Yeah. And I remember years ago, and Steve would remember this. Um, the Fresno Convention and Visitors Bureau completely left Kingsburg off the Blossom Trail. And I think about a dozen of us from the city went to talk to them. And they just was kind of ho hum, well, it's too late for this year. And so finally, we are part of the Blossom Trail. And I think we are the, the stepping off point this year. Yeah, we're the kickoff point. People have to begin anyway. Because we hosted, because I, I hosted at the depot a couple of years ago, so we, we are trying to get <laughs> Did you I think that I was in high school? <laughs> yeah, no, that was a great um, event. Okay. So, I don't know, this wasn't an agenda item, so we don't need to vote on, but I think the general consensus of this is that we were in favor of, uh, of, of this. I think it also adds a, has a little bit more culture uh, to it, you know, if we can get local artists and all that, and then we can, and we can market that part of it also type of thing, you know, see the local uh, local talent that we have type of thing. So, uh, like I said, it's not an, it's other business, it's not an agenda item, so we can't vote on it, but I think the general consensus is yes, Michelle, we'd love to see you move forward on, on uh, presenting this uh, kind of idea. So I'll work with the businesses and talk to them about um, next steps and identify the areas that, you know through the downtown area and then uh, next steps then will be after we identify some areas and look for artists and some funding for it and so it's a process it's not going to happen overnight but we'll at least get going on it and then that way they have an idea when I talk to businesses that the, the bids behind it as well to support it and the council and the economic development committee so that way they know. Thank you. Any other business? I have one more item to that I'd like this group to think about and consider. Um, I'd like this group and I don't know if we need to make an agenda item for the next meeting, but to encourage the city council to continue to pursue blocking off the alleys that drop on the Draper Street. I know there's some parking issues and there's some things like that, but I think we can see that the Paseo over here is, is a, you know, a nice looking addition. Um, the, um, of course, the uh, between the Fugazis and um, the Appletech building, um, that's been a, a, a big asset uh, to that area. Uh, the bulb out even in front of your place, you know, uh, you know, it's been, we need to utilize these spaces other than asphalt and cars coming out that can almost, I was sitting in Fugazi's during the holidays and I saw a truck come out of the alley across the street next to the village mall and just about hit somebody, uh, just about hit somebody. And I think this group being the downtown improvement district um, can just, we can't do anything about it, but we can vote on it at the next meeting, put it on the agenda to encourage city council to take a really closer look at this. And I know it's in their forethought, but maybe some another little push will help um, eliminate that traffic dumping on into Draper Street. Give that some thought. If you have any questions, let me know. 
Uh, I know the one at Los Pepe's, um, that alley. Uh, that one and that one are the basically the only two that they would need to consider. That one's very popular when there's a train. The one that you're talking about? Yeah. The well, one that leads behind the post office? That's the only way for a couple of businesses to even access. I know, and that's going to that's going to cause that's something that beyond my pay grade that the city council mm -hmm. and the city staff are going to have to. You know, we we got we got to work on that one because that, that's the that's the parking access for where our office is, and I can attest that it's really hard to come out of that alley without people darting out in front of you, right? Because they're not expecting a vehicle and. Correct. You can only see so far until you get far enough out. <laughs> right. So I, I think it's to walk it to... off like to Draper, but the access on the other side still be available because yeah, right there there are businesses that need to go in and out. So like uh, to exit by the post office. Yes. Yeah. As long as the post right. office isn't blocking the alley like they do probably eighty percent of the day. Yeah. Uh, so, so. 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 number you can call us call the Kings Road Police Department. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're blocking the alley. That's a public right away. You know. I think that one is, it is dangerous. Yeah. I watch it all day long. I just see it when I'm at the bar. I no, it's. Uh, <laughs> it definitely needs to be addressed. I, I very much so agree with that. that. That's a difficult area to park. Plus, there yeah. is a side entrance, right, to the um, cider. There's a side entrance there. Yeah. That could be where you stop the road, you know, where that entrance is. Yeah, the JDS can still get access. Oh, yeah. That could just okay. be, you could put the two barriers like you have over here. And there's some barriers that are removable. Like if there was a certain emergency or something, emergency vehicles can actually drive straight over them or they can remove them. Right. Call those in Morro Bay. <laughs> so that's an Sherman option. and I walked it. Um, Dix and I walked it to say cause we wanted to do some outdoor dining for mm -hmm. the cidery, mm -hmm. and that was what like to say even an, an extra door over there. Yeah. Then that way maybe even close that one, so it's a little closer even to give mm -hmm. them even extra room. So I think there's nice ways to yeah, be the creative first wall over there. Good, and they put signage up there. Mm -hmm. Some lights. The yeah. Nice. The lights. Yeah. As long as garbage truck doesn't screw them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you think wouldn't be able to go that way. So. I think there's some creative ways that people can still get out. So can we, uh, Abby, can we have that on our next agenda so that we can actually do a, something formal that we are definitely, I, I, don't, I don't think there's any opposition to us, to us doing that. So I'll put it on you. there. Thank you. Uh, is there any other business to be brought up? I think we need to uh, revisit um, looking at a photographer to take the pictures for downtown because uh, what was his name who was doing our website? I've created Ron, but, Ron yeah. has mentioned it a few times now that we have to have pictures to go on our website and that was not included in the package. So maybe I brought up one girl. I know Amanda tried to ask her girl if she could um, do a quote, but her girl won't do it. So um, she's fully booked. So if anyone else would like to try and grab a few, I don't know, local photographers or something, and then we can um, put all their bids out and see what that's going to cost us. But we can't have a website without professional pictures. So. Um, right, so that is an agenda item next month then. Yeah, that's a good one. Review, review the bids. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he sent us a website timeline last night, and it has a launch tentatively of April 25th, so we need to be able to plug in photos. Mm -hmm. The invoice has been sent in 50% for payment, and they got their business license through the city, so they're oh, good to go. So that's a requirement? Yeah. <laughs> if we're paying with, yeah, any, anyone that we do business with has to have a business license. Right. You guys pay into it, so. Right, yes, that's good. Your gal, is that the same one that took photos? Yes, the what photos that we actually Is, I is she going to present a bid? or? Uh, you know what, I think she had action. emailed me one a while back. I need to uh, okay. dig in my emails and see what her okay. uh, 
bid was, but I didn't bring it to everyone because uh, we kind of shot down the idea. But then after we went ahead with the website right. and uh, talked more about that. Uh, so yeah, okay. I, would, I would have to look and I can bring no, that no. to the next meeting. Just bring it to the next meeting. Um, so I have a gal that takes sort of houses, you know, uh, yeah. real estate deals, and maybe I'll ask her if she's okay. interested in doing something. Yeah, that would be great. Just so we have something to compare. Right. Like, yeah. Is there a way to put like a public call to submit a proposal? Maybe in the newsletter that you guys send out? The deadline would be the next meeting. And the like right. call. It should be the deadline, maybe when I post the agenda the yeah. Friday before, so that you guys could have them to look at beforehand. So the next meeting is February 2nd, so that Friday, or even that Thursday, to make sure I have it when I post it on Friday, would be January 27th, which is, yeah. What do you want in the proposal? Like, what kind of, do you know what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. So we're basically looking, what I think we're looking for is general pictures of our downtown, but not just sitting there snap, you know, it, it has to look creative and, you know, photographers know how to do that. And so uh, of the general downtown, and then I think we would need one to two pictures of each business, because once we have our directory on our website, um, hopefully we could get a picture there and then their name that you can click on and it sends you to their website. Um, so for that to all look nicely done, I basically think. Basically a commercial photography bid for general downtown photos and individual business photos. Mm -hmm. Right, it's going to be a big project. Yeah. Yeah. The rate that they quoted us is something we can compare it to too because they did have an option in there, but he okay. advised a few times, like Lauren said, to use someone local as a partnership. Get a lot of advertising out of it. We didn't have a couple photos of the holiday season downtown, too. Yeah, it'd be nice to have somebody that we always call and they can come to yeah. seasonal events and these yeah. murals and stuff like that. But a standing person. Yeah, I agree. That builds the bid. Okay, so that's from Louie on the agenda for the next meeting. Thanks for bringing that up. Anything else? I don't know if anybody here can give us an update on the corner down there, Giannis. I see they're working. Are they starting construction on that? The when so when is it? When is it? <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> he has a running joke. It looks like there's just going on there. He's going to try to buy them out. He says, well, okay. I'm starting on Wednesday. I see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they, have, they have submitted their plans. They have a new um, project manager that just started. And um, so they said, yeah, they have a hard Wednesday. deadline. Yeah, so yeah we gave them January 2023, right? Yeah, they, we, we gave them an extension. And um, I told them, I said, listen, I'm not giving anymore. And you've got to get going. Oh, yeah, we're, we're on it. I said, okay. What if they don't? Then they lose everything. They lose that city? corner. No, not the what? land. We have. <laughs> we have. Um, they have incentives, so oh, they'll lose okay. the city incentives. Oh yeah. Yeah. The funding. The funding. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. They don't want to lose all that. What is it supposed to be? It's a two, It's it's Plaza. ten apartments. So there's nine upstairs, one downstairs, and then it's the it's so it's mixed use, and then retail on the bottom. Kind of oh, like yeah. I can yeah, send yeah. you guys there. The plan? Yeah. yeah. I would just pull it up, but I don't re remember what meeting it was at, so it would take me a while to pull it up. But I could email you guys what it's going to look like. Really great. Yeah, it'll look nice. Awesome. You need a um, parking garage downtown. <laughs> Put that on next year. Parking, <laughs> parking garage? Parking yeah. Garage. For that downtown business owner have to pay like a annual fee and only like um, only employees that work downtown get to park in this structure will pay for it and nobody else parks there and then all the 
shoppers can park downtown and that'd be great. That's we'll just, have, maybe just for next we'll year. Yeah, golf. Yeah, right. I love it. No, we're gonna have the scooter thing. We have a trolley. We can yeah, we have a trolley. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, I like that wise does. <laughs> yeah, Everybody's exactly. Everybody's way outside and hauling back and forth. Bust them in. <laughs> we are uh, losing a little track. Here. Yeah, <laughs> we can table that one. It's fine. Any other business before we go to item number six? Um, hearing none, item number six is uh, to our next meeting, which is February 2nd at 8 a.m. in the chamber, um, council, uh, chamber, the council, uh, chambers, chambers. chambers. I had the right words just a little <laughs> Anyway, meeting adjourned. Thank you.